nostalgia. That's how I start nostalgia. Like those things, a bunch of things that like I can't really explain, but this is true to me. And maybe it could connect to you or to somebody else. My name is Darius Marsan, CEO of Yo Train Sports and actor and motivational speaker based in Los Angeles and friend to many. From as early as I can remember as a teenager and like having expectations when expectations started because as a kid you don't have expectations you just do life and have fun my one was like i just didn't want to fail i don't want to become a failure and it's so ironic that you know my motivation of brand is 1000 failures right <laughs> and um, i i embrace it today but before it was just so tough for me because in school there was just this false notion that like having a great gpa meant the world you know and having all these in the class and not just using hands-on skills that could help you for the next level meant a little bit more so i would say um, that element of of expectation and failure is, is something that I, I learned to embrace and each time that you fail uh, you just get one step closer to success when i was younger my mom moved to new york in like 98 and she kind of paved the way for me to come. We didn't have a lot, but she was like, you know, I want you to come. I want you to keep playing soccer. That was my dream and my passion. And when I came in, there were a ton of people who were like seniors and stuff. Um, and they were from Trinidad. And they kind of took me under their wing, which is why I, be I believe in mentors a lot because they help you from making a lot of mistakes and failure. Um, even though it's necessary, but having learned from their mistakes, you get to go through that as well as not make it yourself. All I remember was me struggling to get money in school and stuff. And this one promoter guy from the city, I think we just follow each other on Facebook or something like that. And you know, he was like, come try doing this. And I was that guy at first, you know, uh, standing in the cold with an umbrella, like telling people, hey, come to this place, come to this place. And I was that guy. And I think it started with me wanting to create something a little bit better for myself. And before you know it, the club just decided to hire me instead. And, and then the club started to put me next to a celebrity. So I would sit next to like the Kanye West or, or whatever it was in the clubs. And it helped me to form that big business um, of having a ruler decks of important people. And when I realized your net work is your net worth in life, a light bulb clicked. So apart from learning what your network brings, being empathetic and true, I learned the value of that as well. And just being yourself. To be honest with you, I really didn't have like big goals set out like I wanted to be an economist and that was my last goal I thought of and then to play pro after that but apart from that I didn't have any big goals I just did stuff and like when I heard a calling I just went for it and I gave it my all and I think with a lot of people people play it down you know whether you're good at like at, at, at writing or whatever it is like just go for it go and give it a hundred percent Trevor Noah, he told me one time, he was like, things are great in moments and it's okay for it to be great in a moment. And when he told me that, I look at life in a, such a different perspective now, that like, you know, playing was great at the time it was. And even with my nightlife career for 12 years, it was great, but it was time to move on. You know, I think we are so afraid to start over that we just get caught up in doing something that we don't like. And um, I learned to embrace doing something new or doing something I like and starting over and building and learning and being foolish. 
one night, me and Vinny from the Jersey Show, MTV Jersey Show, hanging out, right? We're hanging out. He's like, yo, bro, I'm going to this improv class. This improv coming class, like da da da. I was like, bro, you know, you know, I would love to do that because I was just doing like pits and stuff in New York, like small shows. And he said, I would love to try that out. Went, tried it out. Fell in love with being on stage because like in our final class presentation, we had to perform in front of a whole audience, right? That paying audience. Lights hit me. I'm like, yo, I miss this thing, this, 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 this feeling. And um, jumped into a class with, with another active friend of mine. He was giving classes in, in the city. And uh, it, it was just so cool just standing up in front of class and performing. And I was like, all right, like, I just want to continue doing this because this will be so much fun. I love doing this. Then I, I went to study um, with a teacher called Susan Batson, and she has an amazing studio, uh, studio in New York City. And um, did a couple of shows, uh, TV shows in like New York. Some of the procedural like cop shows in New York. And then while I was on set on one of these TV shows, the makeup artist, he was like, I feel like you do so good in, in LA, like you'll make it. And I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, like, I just, I just love your vibe. And then I was like, my vibe? He's like, yeah, I love your vibe. And then I was like, I was wanted to move to LA and um, booked a one-way ticket. That was in February, 2017. And I would say in 2020, I'm a working actor where I make my living off of actor, which I'm blessed to do. And uh, that was just one of those moments when I heard something on my shoulder telling me something and I just went for it. And and I hope that's you know, that's a message that reaches to other people where they hear that thing and you just go for it. Where I see that I'm successful, no. I think success ties into your dreams and goals and those keep, things keep changing. Have I been successful in some of my dreams and goals? Yes. Am I successful in where my dreams and goals are right now? No. So I think success is something that's very temporary. And I think our only, only ambition should just be to attain happiness, you know, and if that's joy of reaching a dream or a goal, then yay for you. I can't accept failure. I can't accept not trying.